we'll be discussing another important protection that the law provides, particularly in Nigeria, which is copyrights. This is very interesting. So please join me in this journey. Now, a copyright, as the name implies, is right copy. So you have two words, rights and copy. That means the exclusive rights to someone, whether artificial or natural person, that's a company or startup, to own the rights over a particular innovation or creative work to the exclusion of all others from copying, translating, broadcasting, or doing whatsoever they think fit with it without express permission. And so copyright is one key right that needs to be more explored, not just by entertainers or those in the creative world, but also by startups and tech enthusiasts and tech programmers. You can actually protect your software by copyright if the patent intellectual property protection cannot avail you if the software is not new or perhaps the software is not for industrial purposes, right? So you might hide under the protection provided under the Copyright Act of Nigeria to copyright your software or your code as it were. And that protects your software from imitation. It also protects your software from the source code or graphics or whatever have been copied by others, but it may not protect the functionality of your software or the system of your software, unlike a patent. Take notes. However, that protection goes a long way to help you from being copied. Copyright. However, in order to protect yourself as a startup, as a legal practitioner and a policy practitioner myself, I advise a lot of startups to engage in protecting trade secrets. And you can protect your trade secrets through non-disclosure agreements, whether you want to go pitch that idea somewhere or something, you might protect it by simply sending an email. Evidence is the end of arguments. Once you have evidence that this particular idea emanated from you and it is in tangible form, even in paper or electronically, there might be some equitable rights that you might have a claim on. And so, for example, if Coca-Cola only protected the recipe, it would only have lasted for maybe 20 years. But what happened after the 20 years? Coca-Cola decided to guard its trade secrets. And that is very, very important for startups and those in the talent industry, whether you're a tech programmer, an entertainer, a creative person. There are a lot of people that, for example, have written books that are not copyrighted. Although the express writing of that book grants some level of rights, but it is advisable to go to an extent of copywriting it. Even for comedians, you might find it surprising that you can actually write your jokes into a compendium of books or manuscripts and apply for copyrights over your comedy scripts or statements. Very key. And so copyright is quite an interesting subject. This is everything startup without Timmy the law. If you have questions on copyright, please feel free to reach out to the handles on your screen. Thank you for listening.